So uh, today I'm going to take you guys into the what I call the Mexican Mall. It's one of the coolest places that I've discovered uh, since I've moved to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I think the official name is Plaza Fiesta, but uh, as you see when we get inside here, it is a very, very cool ethnic place. Um, I love Hispanic culture. I've visited Mexico many, many times. So you'll see in this place, it's mostly people of Mexican descent that go here. Um, and all the shops are, you know, locally owned mostly by people from Mexico. So I just sort of filmed as I walk through here. Um, I'm not really confident enough to hold my camera up high and film in people's faces yet. I don't know how vloggers do that, but I just had my camera around my neck and I just sort of let it film as I walk through and I'll sort of, you know, describe some of the stuff that uh, you're seeing as you go through. So right when you walk in, there's this cool kids arcade area. Um, that's a little ice cream shop right over to the left. You see a claw machine here. Uh, a lot of stuff for kids. And then I think there's a actually a gift shop here where um, on some of these games you can win tickets and then sort of like Dave and Buster's you can exchange your tickets uh, for prizes. I think that to the right right there is where the little shop for the arcade. Uh, but just typical arcade games. Um, and then you get a little bit further in you see they have like a play place here um, where people let their kids play. And then to the left is this big food court area uh, where again it's all mostly Hispanic Mexican food, tacos, things like that. Um, they sell a lot of ice cream. There's a lot of ice cream shops here and a lot of like fresh fruit in a cup that I saw. But there you look like, it uh, looks like you see pinatas and things they sell for quinceañeras. Um, and we'll get to that a bit later when we see all these really cool uh, dresses for girls that when they celebrate their quinceañera. Um, so and this place is just massively huge like it doesn't look that big uh, coming in from the outside but just like when i visit the real mexico they have these all these hallways that you can just get lost down um and so when i come here i'm I, i'm usually looking for one store in particular that i've been to a couple times and it usually takes me forever to find it again because i just get lost in all these hallways um You'll see here that I walk around for a, quite a long time looking for this one specific store. But here you see sort of like a, I think this is more like cowboy type stuff. That's the other thing you see here a lot is uh, stores that sell cowboy boots and sort of that authentic Mexican rancher type style. Uh, there's stereo equipment, rims for your cars sort of all sorts of stuff here uh, makeup is big and, and, and women's eye threading and things like that but uh, I'll let you guys just look here as we keep walking through jewelry more food on the left here another long hallway so I actually went here on a Sunday so a lot of these stores are closed uh, as you'll see I, I the, the the store that I'm looking for, so here's some of these quinceanera dresses, which are pretty cool, and I'll show you a little more in detail later. But um, what I'm really looking for is stores that sell these football jerseys or soccer jerseys, right? And they, they sell them super cheap. So I get a jersey, and I think they come with uh, shorts, too. It's like the whole kit, um, and they're like 20 bucks each. So, you know, obviously they're probably knockoffs. They're not authentic jerseys, but... I've probably bought maybe 10 of them from this place. And so that's what I was looking for when I was walking through here is that store that sells these jerseys. But as I realized later, um, all the stores that sold these are closed today. So it was a Sunday. This was, uh, I think this was New Year's Day. So uh, a lot of the shops were closed. But yeah it's a very cool place um, I definitely recommend checking it out if you're in the Atlanta area um, you know 
just being honest of what I see, not a lot of white people uh, or non-Hispanic people visit here. And yeah, you have the language issue, but I mean, I consider myself semi-fluent in Spanish. But um, it's just a great time. It's a really interesting to see the culture, all the quinceanera dresses. So this lady right here, I actually ended up talking to her for a little bit, asking her where the store was that I was looking for. And she told me that it was probably closed, which I did find out later was true. Um, so you'll see just walking down here, these. this is like... Uh, there's also a lot of religious artifacts type things that you see. Um, I guess in Mexican culture, they're pretty Christian. Um, so there's a couple stores that I saw that were pretty much only selling uh, religion, religious type artifacts. Um, this looks like women's clothing, another clothes store. A phone store here, sort of in the back here. There's not too much. Um, are these toys? Yeah, I think this is a... Uh, one of these shops had a lot of really cool toys in them. You're also going to find not a lot of knockoff stuff here, which I particularly like. Um, I think there's a perfume shop coming up. We might have passed it already, but they had a bunch of, uh, you know, name brand perfumes and colognes, but who knows if they're, you know, legitimate or not, but they're certainly cheap. Um, so you see just normal clothes stores here. I don't know if you hear me mumbling. I was looking for that store and I kept turning around. Here you can see one of the ice cream shops. I'm not sure if this is when I talked to her or not. No, I guess not. So the store over to the left here, I actually end up going in there and getting a horchata, which is a, a milk-based drink that has like cinnamon in it. It's really delicious. If you've never had horchata, I definitely recommend trying it at least once. So I think I'm walking up right now and there was like a, a magician or some sort of show going on. I stopped for a little bit, but... I don't think I stayed there for too long. I filmed them for a little bit. So you see a couple jerseys right there, but that store did not actually sell them. They were more of a cowboy store. So the other interesting thing is this actually backs up to a Ross Dress for Less. So they're sort of like an anchor store. Um, it's not like a traditional mall in that sense, but it is interesting that it's open to Ross right there. There's an entrance to the mall from the store. So there weren't that many people watching this guy, but I, I come back later and there were a ton of people around this guy. So I don't know what he was doing, but apparently it was entertaining enough.
So yeah, this is the Mexican Mall. Um, oh, here's a store that sells like uh, some. Oh, this was the store. This is what I was looking for. So here's where I finally found it, and I realized that it was closed. So as you can see, the Rakuten jersey right then, right there. I don't think I think that's a um, what is that Barcelona or something. But uh, all these jerseys up there, and they're all super cheap. And she usually sells them to me with a a pair of shorts too. So you see the Mexican um, national jersey right there. She's got cheap cleats, a bunch of really cool stuff in there. She's got scarves with uh, different soccer teams on them. So yeah, that's where I, I cut the video. But um, if you live in the Atlanta, Georgia area, I definitely recommend checking it out. It's on uh, Beaufort Highway, sort of up in the uh, Doraville, Chambly area. So very, very cool. Um, I'm going to show a little more footage here of just some of the quinceanera dresses and another little shop that I found that sells um, football jerseys. So, yeah, that's it for the video. Um, it's just me checking out the mall. Like I said, if you've never been there before and you live in the area, I definitely recommend checking it out. So, that's it. Also, one last thing, I just wanted to show you guys uh, some of my collection of jerseys that I've actually bought at that mall. Um, so here's a Mexican national jersey among a bunch of other uh, Champions League teams. Um, so I was going to do a project originally where I wanted to frame a lot of these, but um, I think I ended up just wearing a lot of them. So let me know if you guys want me to go back. I know I didn't do a great job of showing in some of the shops. I sort of did this on a, on a whim. So uh, let me know. Go check it out yourself. And uh, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.